What is up guys, the Cruise 51 here today. We are back with another video and today we are reacting to the 2017 Azerbaijan slash Baku Grand Prix. Holy crap guys. Whoa. Just whoa. Like absolutely just amazing this Grand Prix. Um there is the results. Ricardo won the race from Bottas and Stroll. Lawrence Stroll. But yeah, I've got a couple on the screen right now to show you what I'm going to talk through it from the next 15 minutes because a lot of stuff to talk in this reaction video today, guys. I thought Canada was good. I had no chance in this race. A 9.5 out of 10, I've got to believe. Or if you want to risk it, a 10 out of 10. But just amazing. You do, that was the best race ever ever I've seen this season and for the last couple of years I've got to admit um, so yeah good start from Hamilton good start from Bottas Vettel almost collided with um, Mercedes and Raikkonen then we had a collision with Bottas and Raikkonen through the first corner the next corner should I say um, but yeah but getting a punch out and so did Bottas which was an, a real shame. Dave, was it? Yeah. Kvyat went track, came back on, Saint spun and almost crashed into everybody. Um, and yeah, from there, everybody started to settle down a bit. We had a couple overtakes on the main street. Then we were about la and nine laps into the Grand Prix, where we had the first safety car, um, which was obviously because Daniel Kvyat's car, I believe, stopped on the circuit. Um, yeah, so it was that bad enough to get the safety car out. Then... As everybody pitied and done their strategies, how metal pitied and all that, we got the strategies worked. It was hard. It's where the first time we restarted the Grand Prix and um, Hamilton just almost went over the safety car line and got a warrant for it. Um, yeah, and Vettel was under serious pressure from Perez and Perez almost went in with massive um, car, massive brilliant overtakes of all the cars behind, three wide into the first corner, almost contact, then there was contact with the Force Indias as Ocon went past Perez, then didn't seem to see him and then um, took the both Force Indias um, into collision with Perez's front wing coming on board with him and then we had Ocon's had a punch or two and then... More safety cars coming out um, for the debris and all that. So at the second safety car and just a lap, um, so that happened again. We done all that, and then the second safety car coming in. Big analysis coming up for you guys would be Hamilton Vettel colliding with all, all just starting at the end of the safety car. Should I say so? I've got pictures on the board you right now. What guys comment below what you think? Whose fault was it, Hamilton or Vettel? Because, from my point of view, as a Hamilton fan, I know a lot of Vettel fans will be watching this, but I don't give a absolute crap what anybody says because, my point, definitely Vettel. He deserves much more penalties in 10 seconds because, as you all know, he finished fourth. Well, provisional classification at the moment. It's not the full classification, so they're still looking into it. But Vettel got a 10 second penalty for collision with Hamilton because Hamilton, not like the thing, everyone's saying, a couple of people are saying he brake checked him. He's trying to back the pack up, people, if you're listening to me here. I know myself from racing, as a racing driver myself, you back the pack up. Obviously, they do get safety cars and carton, but. <laughs> um, yeah, but Hamilton back in the pack up. Vettel was too close behind them. Hit him um, back at Hamilton with nose nose cone damage on Vettel's car, and then Vettel decides to go beside him and turns right into him like an absolute twat. So that could have punctured Hamilton's tire or anything, but Hamilton did get away in the end from that. Um, I might be mixed up with Perez and I'm going side by side at Cup, I'm not mistaken, because after that, there was another safety car for Mowbray. Um Then, we got a red flag, because on that restart, we had three wide, four wide to the red flag, because as I said, there was more cars going side by side into the first corner. A lot of cars almost colliding, um, and as we came into the black stages, always to the radio saying it used to get red flagged because of the debris and all that, which I would probably agree. So three safety cars and a red flag in less than five laps. How about that? Um, there's Baku for you, 100%. And then we know the red flag. Kimi Raikkonen actually was coming in to retire because he had um, damage on his car again with the collisions in the midfield and even obviously Perez and all that. So if somehow they get Perez's car going again and Raikkonen's car going again, Raikkonen was away to go and get a shower actually. And yeah, we actually get the car out again 
Um, you, on lap two, by one lap, unfortunately, it was not two laps because there was laps down, and especially with Bottas, I was going to mention, I said Bottas had punchers as well, he was a lap behind, managed to get behind after the safety cars, he was up into 13th, so the race was stopped for about 20 minutes, mistake, I believe it was 20 minutes, and then after them at 6.15 um, Baku time, obviously it'd be 2.15 here, no, 3.15, I think it, yeah, it was 3.15, if I'm not mistaken, and then um, yeah, we restarted the Grand Prix again, then Hamilton, under serious pressure from Vettel, um, just managed to defend ahead of him in the first call. Then, out of nowhere, um, Daniel Ricciardo from 5th, went from, um, I believe 5th, is it? Um, Ricciardo was an, I'm not sure, I think it was 6th or 7th, 7th, all the way down to 3rd. Well, up to 3rd in the first corner, with 4 cars going wide at that first corner. Unbelievable, and how they didn't collide was unreal too, because it just mixed everything up. The safety cars, and even a penalty for Sebastian Vettel for just driving. And then guess what? Guess what? Guess what happened? Hamilton's head brace was loose. And at this moment, I just feel like I want to kill myself, because Hamilton doing his thing, leading the Grand Prix, going to win this race, easy enough, reti no retires. Head brace goes loose. So, tries to fix it down, pushes it down, but guess what? Just guess what? He comes into the pits. He needs to come into the pits to get a new one. 9.1 seconds it took them, which was okay. Then, obviously the next lap, Vettel got a penalty, which everything helped. 10 seconds for that, if I was to be honest with you. Um, he came out ahead of Hamilton, which I was absolutely raging at this point. So it was 5th and 6th, I believe. I thought it was less than that. No, it was about 8th and 7th. There we had a complete lead change with Ricardo leading the Grand Prix after the two getting penalties. Then from Lawrence Stroll in the Williams, and then it was Kevin Magnussen and Fernando Alonso. So come two, four um, completely different teams, not Mercedes, not Ferrari, in the top four. So it was looking good for Magnussen, Ocon, not Ocon, Stroll and Ricardo. So obviously it's going to mention throughout the race, um, I just forgot there, Max Verstappen did retire. He was in second, um, fight, fighting for the podium with Ocon in third, um, early stages in the pre, I forgot to mention that. So then it was a battle for the podium between Hamilton, Vettel, Ocon, Magnussen and Bottas. Um, Ricardo was away down the road, that as well, but five seconds ahead. Then Stroll was um, behind two. He was quite far ahead of the third place um, driver as well, which was Esteban. No, who was it again? I can't remember. Um, I know Bottas. Yeah, it was Bottas because um, well, it was Ocon, and then Bottas got past Ocon um, on the straight. And then, as I said, we had some fantastic moves as well. Vettel got past um, Ocon as well down the inside because he managed to come back a lot. As I said, guys, I've just mentioned, if I've not mentioned a lot of good stuff in this race, I'm sorry because I'm just trying to remember all the stuff that happened in the race. Well, because, as you can see, there was a um, race lap chart and lap 30. It was Ricardo from Stroll, Magnussen, Ocon, Bottas, Alonso, Vettel, Hamilton, Sainz, Grosje, Eriksson, Wehrlein, Van Don, Perez and Raikkonen and the rest were out because Massa, he was in second. He was challenging um, Vettel mid-race after the second safety car. First setting position was up to third and then obviously he had a problem with his car which is a shame because he just lost massively. And um, yes, that's that was Massa would have been quite up there as well. And there's the rest you know, um, classification after the 51 laps, so it's not full classification because, as I said, I think they're still looking for Vettel and one, so we've got more stuff to do with that, yeah, so it's not the full classification yet. Um, so there is the driver's standings at the moment of Sebastian Vettel, 153 points to Hamilton, 139. So, 14 points separate Hamilton and Vettel, it's still only two points difference he lost to Hamilton at the moment, but still a massive shame. Um... There, but as I said, the race winner was Daniel Ricardo. In the end, fantastic. I've actually, as I said, Ricardo was my second favourite driver on the grid, and I was so happy for him to win after all the misery Red Bull misery Red Bull have had throughout the season. So Daniel Ricardo wins the Baku Grand Prix, followed by Valtteri Bottas, who just, only just clutched Stroll on the last lap and got past them on the run to the line. So literally, metres at the line, Bottas passed Stroll. So Stroll went from second to third and literally on the line by about less than a tenth of a second. And then Hamilton was only two tenths behind Vettel in the end, which is an absolute bloke because that's just 
rubs it in because he's stuck behind him the entire race. Couldn't he get past? Obviously closes on the last lap and tries it, but yeah, what can I say? It's a disappointment for my man Lewis Hamilton. Um, he was absolute gutted in the speaking in the interview. So was Vettel. Vettel's an absolute twat. I don't care what anybody says in the comments. But I absolutely hate Vettel now. I wanted to see a clean championship fight, but we're seeing we're not getting it anymore. Um, but yeah, it spices up the season because 2019 has been a hell of a year for Formula One. Um, the best at the moment would be this one: Canada, Spain, and Bahrain. That's what I'd probably say um, for you guys. But which is a Daniel Ricciardo and Lance Stroll, youngest ever podium sitter ever. Like the so as you've seen on this um, screen right now, it says youngest podium sitter in a rookie season with 18 years, 239 days. Can I say for Lance Stroll today? If you told me Lance Stroll would get a podium during the season, I'd laugh my head off for two years. So. Um, that's unbelievable. I'll take that all back. Brilliant driving from Lance Stroll. My podium yet, but looked like he would have had today. So, fantastic result from then. As I said, Daniel Ricciardo wins the Grand Prix. Bottas coming from a lap down and ends up finishing ahead of his teammate Lewis Hamilton um, just because of a head brace thing, which is so gutting for Hamilton. But, oh well, we have got Austria in a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, that was a race you want to see guys, uh, especially check out the highlights on the 2017 Azerbaijan Grand Prix on the F1 channel which will be coming out very soon because I tell you that will get a lot of likes and a lot of views, tell me that race rating as well as Stroll done the show but um, the rating of the race from me officially this time around, we do this all the time, I believe would be in the 9s so I, I, I could do 9.1, 9.2 but as I said, I think I will give it a 9.4 out of 10. So that's a maybe 9.34 out of 10. Um, so that's my official race rating because that, that race, Azerbaijan, do not get rid of it out of the calendar yet because there is chances of from brilliant Grand Prix here like what you have seen today. Fernando Alonso, the Lord has praised him with some points for McLaren. Ninth place, I believe, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken there. He finished. McLaren finished a Grand Prix, guys. Everybody give him a round of applause right now. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Alonso in the top ten. Got points from McLaren. McLaren finished the race. And finally, we have all t ten teams have scored points in Formula 1 of the Constructors. So... That, I believe, is going to round it off from a fantastic Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Um, there's some memes, or memes, whatever you want to call them, on the screen right now for you, or whatever. Just have a laugh at Um But yeah, that's me done um, for another reaction video. The longest reaction video I've done so far, obviously, because all the bits and pieces. I've probably missed out a couple of bits, guys. I'm sorry for that, because I can't remember all the good stuff that happened in the It's going... Yes, watch it for whatever, but you have to, it's a definite watch, definite watch um, for this race, but that, that was just phenomenal, so that's in the Cruise 51 here today, it's been another reaction video, and that's been another one done, until Austria guys, thank you for leaving a like, commenting and subscribing to my channel, new videos out in the next week or so, but thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll next time, and actually, I've just re-watched this video before I finished editing it, and this app is crap, which he just cuts out with the mic. This is a rubbish app, I'm sorry, this Power Director app is shit. So now on, I will I'll do all my videos on my PC, I think, because this app is just crap. It cuts my audio out from my mic and everything, so I'm sorry for that, guys, but yeah, the video is done now.